Hello and welcome to the Elk Island Public Schools High School Information Presentation for 2024. We acknowledge with respect the history and culture of the peoples with whom Treaty 6 was entered into and the land upon which Elk Island Public Schools reside. We, are also, we also acknowledge the traditional homeland of the Métis Nation. We recognize our responsibility as treaty members and honor the heritage and gifts of the First Peoples. We commit to moving forward in partnership with Indigenous communities in a spirit of collaboration and reconciliation. The presentation is representative of Elk Island Public High Schools, including our Drossen Junior Senior High, Bev Facey Community High School in Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan High, Lamont High, Next Step in Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan and Beggarville, Salisbury Composite High School in Sherwood Park, Strathcona Christian Secondary in Sherwood Park, and Beggarville Composite High. There are three pathways to high school completion. The Alberta High School Diploma, the Certificate of High School Achievement, and the Certificate of School Completion. Most students are able to complete the high school in three years. Others may do so in four or more years. When considering pathways to high school completion, this slide outlines some of the requirements. Specific courses are required for Alberta High School Diploma or Certificate of High School Achievement. When planning in high school, students need to consider their strengths and what they are likely to do after high school, such as entering post-secondary education or the workforce. Most students will obtain a high school diploma, which is a requirement of 100 credits, a certificate of high school achievement or certificate of school completion pathway will involve conversations with the school counselor or administrator prior to registration. What is a credit? In high school, each course has a credit value. Most are one credit, three credit, or five credits. A credit is a unit of learning time based on hours of instruction. One credit is approximately 25 hours of instruction. At least 50% must be achieved in each course to earn the credits. Students can only receive credits for a course once. If a student does choose to repeat a course to upgrade their mark, they will be awarded the highest mark achieved, but they do not get additional credits. When choosing courses, you will see that most courses have three digits. The first two digits of a course refer to the year of high school. For example, 10 refers to grade 10, 20 refers to grade 11, and 30 refers to grade 12. There may be variations of this, such as a course with a 13, 14, or 15, a 25, or 35, but these would also conform to the 10 being grade 10, 20 being grade 11, and 30 being grade 12. The hyphenated number refers to the root of the program, as seen below. Some courses may have a prerequisite. A prerequisite is the course needed to qualify to participate in a particular course. For example, English 20-1 has the prerequisite of 10-1, which means English 10-1 must be successfully completed before enrolling into English 20-1. Students pursuing an Alberta High School Diploma will need to meet the following minimum requirements. Students will achieve 100 credits. Within those 100 credits, they will get credit for English 30-1 or 30-2, Social Studies 30-1 or 30-2. Please note that both of these courses have a diploma exam requirement. Students will also be required to complete one of Math 20-1, 20-2, or 20-3, Science 20 or 24, which can include Biology 20, Chemistry 20, or Physics 20, Physical Education 10, Career and Life Management, or COM 20, and a minimum of 10 credits in any combination of Career and Technology Studies, also known as CTS, Fine Arts, Second Languages, Phys Ed 20 or 30, Knowledge Employability, Occupational Courses, Dual Credit Courses, Off-Campus Programming such as Work Experience, Green Certificate, 
for the registered apprenticeship program. And they also require 10 credits at the 30 level other than English or social. Students pursuing a certificate of high school achievement will need to meet the minimum of 80 credits, including English 20-2 or 30-4, Social Studies 10-2 or 20-4, Math 10-3 or 20-4, Science 14 or 20-4, Physical Education 10, Career and Life Management or Comp 20. They will also need at the 30 level five credits from either Career and Technology Studies, CTS, or Knowledge and Employability, also known as K&E, Occupational Courses. Students also require five credits at the 30 level in the areas of Knowledge and Employability Workplace Practicum, Work Experience, Registered Apprenticeship Program, or RAP, Green Certificate, or Special Projects. As students enter into high school, it's important to be aware of the possibility or option of getting scholarships, especially the Alexander Rutherford Scholarship. The Alexander Rutherford Scholarship is provincially awarded. It is a non-competitive scholarship, which means that everyone who qualifies will receive the scholarship. And it is based on qualification in each year, which starts in grade 10. Students who qualify for the full amount will receive $2,500. It is also important to note that the selection criteria for qualifying requirements are below and do differ slightly from year to year. This slide illustrates a typical high school timetable which has four blocks per day on a two-day schedule. In grade 10, students will register for a minimum of eight classes on the schedule. Leadership band and some other courses may be offered either before or after school. The next slides review the pathways through English language arts, social studies, math, and science. On each slide, the arrows show both the typical progression, such as students pursuing 30-1 English will start at English 10-1, go to 20-1, and then 30-1. The dotted lines do illustrate the possible pathways that students could pursue if they want to change course pathways. For example, for students who start in English 10-2, but then wish to go to the dash one pathway. Social studies so shows a similar pathway as English language arts, where students progress through a 10-1, 20-1, 30-1, or they may choose to go the 10-2, 20-2, or 30-2. The difference is that social studies does not offer the 30-4 option as English does. Science programming offers multiple pathways depending on student choice. The following flowchart depicts these pathways. Please note that Science 10 is the prerequisite for all 30 level science courses. Post-secondary programs have unique entrance requirements and it is important that students explore these requirements when choosing their math pathway. Elk Island schools offer a variety of fine art options including advanced acting, audio, art, choral music, drama, general music, instrumental music, musical theater, and technical theater. It's important to check with specific schools to see what they offer. Similar to fine arts, schools can offer pathways in second languages, such as French, German, and Spanish. At the high school level, French immersion is currently offered at our Drossen Junior Senior High School. Schools can also offer a number of physical education and activity courses such as health and wellness, personal fitness, physical education beyond Phys Ed 10, sports medicine, and yoga. Career and technology studies enable schools to design unique programs that meet the needs of students, draw on community resources, and allow for career exploration. 
Common examples in Elk Island Public Schools include baking, culinary arts, commercial foods and personal foods, communication, technology, digital media and design and photography, computer science, computer works and robotics, construction, mechanics and fabrication, welding, cosmetology and aesthetics, horticulture, leadership, and personal fitness, sports medicine, sports performance, and wellness. There are many opportunities for students to participate in athletics. Our schools are a member of the Alberta Schools Athletic Association and participate in sports such as badminton, basketball, cheer, cross country, football, golf, handball, rugby, soccer, track and field, and volleyball. Elk Island Public Schools offers academic programming specifically provided at certain schools. For more information about these programs, you are welcome to attend the following information sessions. For French Immersion, Advanced Placement, International Baccalaureate, and the Honours Programming. For families interested in pursuing Christian programming, you would be encouraged to attend the Open House at Strathcona Christian Secondary on Monday, February 12th. Once students enter high school, they will be provided access to their Alberta Education profile through MyPass. Alberta Education's MyPass is a secure self-service website for high school students to view and print diploma examination results, order high school transcripts, register to write a diploma exam, view progress towards a credential, diploma or certificate, view student personal information, view and print detailed academic reports, or order additional copies of awarded credentials. Off-campus education programming is available to all high school students in Elk Island Public Schools. Three of our most popular programs are the Green Certificate Program, the Registered Apprenticeship Program, or RAP, and the Work Experience Program. Work experience is co are courses that provide experiential learning activities as part of a planned school program, and these can be paid or volunteer position, positions. They, students can discover their career interests and aptitudes in meaningful work activities, which are situated in the community-based work sites. Students can earn up to 15 credits towards high school graduation. One credit is awarded for each 25 hours of documented work, and grades are calculated using the student's assignments and employer feedback. The Registered Apprenticeship Program, or RAP, is a specialized pathway where students can earn high school credits and apprenticeship hours at the same time under the supervision of a journey person. There are over 50 skilled trades that can lead to a career. Students can log up to 1,000 hours of paid work in their competence portfolio or blue book, which can earn them 40 credits. It has a high level of planning that often requires one semester of full-time commitment either during the regular school programming or in the year after graduation or as a returning 12. RAP positions are often highly competitive. In the Green Certificate program, students learn on the job under the direction of experienced farm personnel in the areas of beekeeping, cow-calf, dairy, equine, feedlot, beef, field crop, greenhouse, irrigated crop, poultry, sheep, and swine production. In this program, students can earn up to 16 credits and a level one agricultural technician certification from Alberta Agriculture for post-secondary education and employment. These are competency-based assessments done on an in-person basis at specified locations. Dual credit courses are also available to all Elk Island Public students. Dual credit represents a partnership between Elk Island Public Schools and various post-secondary institutions where student, students can earn both high school credit and post-secondary credit. For information about course offerings and prerequisites, these can be found at the Elk Island Public Schools website under Career Pathways or by asking your school counselors, administrators, or the school Career Pathways Facilitator. For more information about any of the off-campus education opportunities or dual credit opportunities, please visit Career Pathways using the website, the email provided, or there's a QR code that will take you to these sites. 
High school programming is also offered through Next Step Outreach. Next Step Outreach has three campus locations in Fort Saskatchewan, Sherwood Park, and Vegreville. The Next Step vision is to create a community of learners who embody the virtues of acceptance, flexibility, individualization, respect, and responsibility. It's an alternative education that is flexible and individualized for specific needs. Students are required to be on campus once a week and students may be full-time or shared blended program students. Elk Island Public Schools does provide summer school options. Summer school operates through July 2nd to the 26th and registration opens March 15th. For more information about summer school programming, please see below or go to the website www.eipsnextstep.ca. For more information about the schools in Elk Island Public Schools and the opportunity that each provides, please plan to attend the open houses. All listings are on the schedule below. For information on alternative programs, please attend the information set sessions as listed or contact the principals directly. For those considering attending a non-designated school, it is important to be aware of the following. Elk Island Public Schools returning student registration is between February 8th and 21st. All requests to attend a non-designated school must be completed during the online process. No school of choice requests will be accepted after February 21st. Families will complete registration forms through permission click rather than through the PowerSchool parent portal. Acceptance is based on available space. Families who submitted a request will be contacted advising of the outcome in late February. For more information, please go to www.eips.ca registration slash applying to a non-designated school. Please review the following important dates. Thank you for viewing our presentation. For more information, please visit our website or contact schools directly.